Hello there. Today's video is on CSS. So uh, I've got a uh, page here. Let's look at it. There it is in Firefox. It's a paragraph. That paragraph is stuck inside of a div. And it's kind of a rare, um, a rare CSS property, which is border right. So let's go ahead and put div, curly braces. And uh, I'm going to put a background on this guy. Background of uh, red and a uh, padding of uh, 10 picks, get it away from the text. And as I said, this is a uh, border, right. And you can do it all in one declaration for uh, say 10 picks, solid, black. Save that, refresh, there it is on the right side, that black line. Uh, you can do various colors, you can do uh, blue, you know, uh, orange, you can do a hexadecimal, which will be a hashtag, and then say 12 units of red and 40, 50, 45 units of uh, green and 98 units of blue, which all add up to be this. You can do uh, no color, which would be white. Sorry, which would be black. Uh, all colors would be white. Always get those mixed up. There we go, white. Uh, you can also do uh, transparent, which means no color, it just shows the background um, of the red. Oh wait, you don't have to do the pound sign though. In front of it, just like that. Uh, so, let's say for example that you have a uh, 10 pix border of solid, black, all the way around all of your divs. Save that, refresh, there you go. Uh, you can do specific stuff, so we're going to do this locally here. We're going to do uh, style equals open quotes, and say you have all the divs set up this way, but you want this particular div to be slightly different on the uh, right side. So border right style of uh, double, save that, refresh, there you go, double line. There's a dot it dots, dashed, dashes. Uh, you can do uh, inset, which isn't going to do a lot of good because it's a 3D. You need the whole, you need it all the way around. Outset. There's a groove, another 3D, and ridge, another 3D, not really that great. There's a hidden, there's none and uh, the hidden does the same thing as none except the hidden is when you have like CSS conflicts and inherit which means it inherits from its parent item uh, there is no parent item so it's not going to inherit anything well there is a parent item but it's not specified on the parent item so it inherits nothing there's also a border right width so you can specify a different border width, say uh, 40 picks, say, refresh, or you can do a uh, border right color. And like I said, this is a hexadecimal, which means you can do AA, FF, AA, save that, and to do. Uh, but you may say to yourself, hey, that's uh, not a number. Well, it is a number, it's hexadecimal, it's a base 16 counting system, which means it uses the numbers zero through nine just like our counting system but it's a base 16 which means it has additional six numbers which go through a through f and then it hits 10 through 19 at which point it hits uh well i guess that's a uh, 18 and uh all the way through f teen uh i don't really know what the terms are for those guys but it has six extra numbers on them uh if all that's a little bit confusing there's a website actually called uh Color Lovers. It's a great website. They show you lots of colors. They give you the hex codes. Go on your own time. And just remember there's a U in it uh, in the name. But you can do uh, generic colors as well. Say, uh, say, I think you can do purple. Let's see. Purple. Yeah, you can do purple. Uh, teal. But that kind of leaves it open, you know, for the browser interpretation to whatever they decide to make it. But uh, there you go. That's how you use the uh, border right color. We've uh, talked about border right style, border right width, and then just plain border right. 
And remember the border right, you can do the same way that you do with the border declaration. You do a 40 picks, a black, and dotted. There you go. So that's how you use those various CSS properties. Hopefully you'll get to use them, and thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?